right, welcome to the uh, next video on still editing. And uh, now we're going to talk about how to add points and uh, uh, very important, like uh, how do I add more geometry to something that I already have. We've looked at how to delete to get ge take geometry away by deleting vertices or whatever. Uh, so. First, I'd like to show how to uh, select things. Like I said, you can select edges or faces or, um, um, or vertices by right-clicking. So this is a vertex, right-clicking and shift. There's also a brush that selects, and that's shortcut C. Uh, zooming will tell you, will uh, make the selection uh, area. So now if I left click and kind of brush on, I have selected all of these vertices. Or I can do the same thing with faces, same thing C. See? Brushing around, and it's just these faces. Okay. And, um, yeah, and there's the, uh, the, the right click. So there's, there's the C and the clicking. All right, so let's get rid of these guys. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of these objects altogether, actually. I'm in object mode, and I'm deleting these guys. Let's get rid of this light. We don't need it. And this camera. We have a blank slate. Let's put our cursor uh, first five for 3D view. Sweet. Let's put our cursor back at 0, 0, 0. here, location 0, 0, and 0. Let's make a cube. And now let's add geometry to this cube. Into edit mode, I want to add more vertices. There, it's, there's a tool called extrude. It is extraordinary. It allows you to create more geometry. Extrude will um, extrude. <laughs> and I guess you'd have to see it to understand it. If I want to extrude a face, click on face. I want to extrude this face. I click on E and now I it, uh, it shows me like that blue line to say what direction. There's only one direction right now. It's the Z. Oh, look at that. Now I have a lot more vertices. Got my vertice count. I have selected 4 out of 12. Let's extrude some more. Oh, now I have 16. See how all of these extra vertices are, are coming up. Uh, let's take this face and extrude it this way. You can also um, extrude um, edges. So let's say I take this edge and I do E. Look at that. E. And it's always a little weird to extrude in a 3D view because you don't really know what way, where you're going. So let's say here I would have to do E and X. That way I know I am on the X axis. Same thing, we need S for scale and we did SX to scale on the X axis or G to move, GX to move on the X axis. Let's do GZ, moves on the Z axis. Same thing works with the extrude. Let's look at our object. Oh, look at this guy. Pretty sweet. I don't know what it is. Um, now let's extrude multiple. Let's see faces. This one uh, and um, um, shift select this one. Extrude. And there's some weird things happening now because if I were to look at the inside here, you can see there's a bunch of duplication. There's there's this face and there's that face. It looked like they were stuck together, but they're really not. There's a. Uh, it's always good to keep in mind that sometimes you have some faces that we won't see because they're inside, but it still adds more calculation to the computer. Because uh, that's uh, we're going to talk about later um, when it comes to optimizing. Um, a 
good trick is using extrude scale and extrude to make holes. So this face extrude. Right now I have extruded a, a there are two faces that are on top of each other right now. We can see them. S and I scale one. Hey, look at this. And E again and down. Look what I've created. So this is how you extrude with, uh, do you add uh, geometry with extrude? You can also extrude points. So vertex, extrude, extrude, extrude. See how, uh, if you're not careful about the view you're in, uh, it's gonna make, give you some weird geometry like this. So if I want to make, let's say a, a square next to here, I'd select this and I would need to be in orthogonal view, clicking five on the numpad. Now when I extrude, I am sure that it's gonna go on this plane. And this extrude on this plane. See there are coplanar, and this is great. Now let's say I want to uh, close the face. I have this point, sh shift this point, this point, and that point. F is to make a face. So basically, you see, I can create a cube out of nothing. As long as I have a point, I can create anything. Uh, let's do that quickly. So right now, as I said before, this is still my cube, right? And this is its center, its center of rotation and uh, gravity when it comes to um, unity. I think there's something you can do to have a, 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 a gravity calculator a, a based on the volume, but right now this is the point. So if I were to go into edit mode and I were to drop the whole object back to object mode, that center hasn't moved, the object has. So in Unity, if you were to, to spin it around, it'll spin around the center. So it's always good to know where the center of your object is. So let's go back here. We're going to delete everything except for this one point. I select this one point, control I to select everything else delete all the vertices. All I got is one point. It's still an object. I mean, I have my cube. It's called it's called cube. It's my it's my OBJ object. Uh, you see that point is it's still there. So out of that point in edit mode, I can create any sh any form I want. Let's go into top view, right? I still have my little point here, my center here. Let's extrude x. Now let's take this these two points and extrude Y. I can move it anywhere I want right now. I just did extrude and I can move it anywhere. If I say Y, it'll lock it on the Y. Boom. And now let's take these four points and extrude on the Z. Yay, now I have a cube that I've made out of just one point. Okay. Another trick to add geometry. So there's basically two tricks. There's extrude and then there's um, forget what it's called. It's uh, adding points around a uh, perimeter. So if I put my cursor on this face and I did control R control R oops sorry control R Let me explain again, um, something I actually didn't know. If I do control R right now, I, I have the cut tool selected. And if I move my mouse close to the cube, there we go. You can see there's a purple line that says, do you want the cut to be here or here? You know, you can move and select whatever side you want. Let's say we want to put it here. Let's say I haven't decided on that. And bef if I were to click, it would set it. If I were to move my mouse, if I scroll my mouse wheel, it'll give me more cuts. And those are evenly spaced, which is great. So let's give it two cuts. And left click. Once I've left clicked, I have these points already put in, but now I can still move it. I can still move all these points, all these cuts on this edge. So I decide if I, if I want to center it and not move it at all, I would right click. If not, then I can move and left click. So if not, then let's do that again. Control R here, scroll up, left click to drop it. I want to drop it here. I would left click this time. 
here we go. Now we have subdivided this pretty well and we can do all of our little tricks. Let's uh, control R to add more here. Let's put them down here. And now we can extrude this. Oops, sorry, E to extrude. And that to extrude. You can see already how easy it is to make a little dude almost. This and that extrude and that extrude. Um, also, here's one thing that they tell you in tutorials later that you should know now because you'll be making a lot of um, geometry and cutting and adding a bunch of shit and then m move that thing into Unity and realize that some of it is visible and some isn't. Well, right now you can see these faces are gray, right? They, are, they seem like they're objects. They're, they're full. But will Unity see it? A face can only be seen in one side. So let me duplicate this face. Uh, Shift D. Let's make it bigger. So a face can only be seen from one side. So there is one side where if you look at it this way, you will see it. But if you look at it the other way, you won't in Unity or vice versa. And in order to find out what that face, that side is, you'd have to use this uh, window here on the side, uh, which is accessed by N. And you'd have to be in edit mode. And if you scroll all the way down, it is called normals. And I want to see the normals for faces. Aha. Uh -huh. You can see now there's these little blue, little porcupine blue lines that are sticking out. I can make them stick out further if I want, or, or, or uh, make them smaller. This is a vector that tells you that if the camera is on the outer edge of this vector and it's looking towards the center, then the face will be seen. In the other case, if the camera is on the other side looking in towards the outside of this vector, then that object will be completely invisible. I'm um, getting a phone call from a recruiter. Let me pause this for a second. Um, Nabil speaking, hello? Okay, never mind. Okay, so yes, this is very important to know because sometimes you'll be um, extruding things and it will not behave the way you want. For example, let's extrude this down this way. If I didn't have this selected, I look at my cube and I'm like, eh, it looks like a cube. Although the telltale sign is that, um, you see how dark this is? See how this dark um, uh, face is as opposed to these guys? I mean, they're on the same side. Why is that one so dark? That's because it's um, this guy's normals are backwards. Let's look at the normals. See, these guys are sticking out. These guys are sticking in. Let's delete that top face. Oh, sorry, just the face. Delete faces. You see, if I were if I were in in Unity, if I were on, in this box inside, I would see these walls. I would see them. But if I were outside, I wouldn't see anything. I would see through this one, and then I would see this wall. Conversely, if I was inside of this object in Unity, if this was a room, uh, faces or whatever, then. I wouldn't see shit because I would be inside and um, looking through the faces outside and not going to happen. So how do you fix the, um, the normals? Either you have a giant object and you select everything with A and uh, you would just go on the left side, the T side here, and you would use recalculate normals. Uh, where are they? Options. I think I had a. There we go. Uh, nope, that's the seam. Where the heck are they? I had the same problem when I was doing the uh, Unity thing. Okay, it's one of these guys. So let's see. X mirror, no. Okay, there we go. Either recalculate will calculate everything correctly, flip directions will flip everything. Of course, it's only going to do that for the selected objects, the selected faces. 
flip direction is just these two. So that's how you uh, that's how you do things. All right, next tutorial will actually be building something, and uh, we'll be building a house, and we'll use all the tools that we've learned. Okay, see you next uh, tutorial.